Okay, guys. So I am actually very sad that we have to do this one over, uh, <laughs> over the internet. This is actually kind of a little fun class activity, and it should not take you very long at all. I'm I'm gonna guess for most of you guys, ten minutes, maybe fifteen minutes at most, uh, to do a quick little exercise slash experiment, and then tell me about it. So we're gonna work on perception, and we're going to look at what happens when you lose a sense and how that changes your perception. So you're going to lose the set of sight or set sense of sight, or you're going to uh, have to stand on one leg and try to do something like it's, it's silly, but they're, they're really fun in class. Um, so again, I am a little sad to try to do this online. Okay. So you are going to do three of these. That's it. The first one is standing on your leg, closing your eyes and reciting a nursery rhyme. Now I, I use Humpty Dumpty because most people know it, but any nursery rhyme will do. It should be a short one. You could do the itsy bitsy spider, twinkle, twinkle, little star, any nursery rhyme. But the point is you have to close your eyes and stand on one leg to do it. And I have to tell you guys, it is hilarious to watch you in class do this. So I'm very upset. Um, once you do that, then you have to talk about how do you think it changed your perception? Were you able to do this? Like, did closing your eyes mess with your balance? Newsflash, it does. Some of you might have great balance, so whatever. But for most of us, standing on one leg with eyes closed is an absolute misery because actually you use your eyes to balance. Uh, same with your ears. So it's all kind of relative to perception. Um, were you able to do it? And what was the hardest part for you? You know, some of you guys might be rock stars and just, you know, do great. Others of you, this is going to be probably the hardest one because it forces you to stand. This is the only one that forces you to stand. All right. The next one, you're sitting down. You're going to close your eyes and you're going to draw circles. So think circles with your right foot. And I'm doing it right now, even though you guys can't see me. And then with your left hand, you're going to do a number six. So you're not doing complete circles. You're doing a six. And for many people, this is very hard because you're doing motions that are not normal for those. So did it change your perception, which this one probably won't, but that's okay. Just answer the question. Um, were you able to complete the task? Again, this kind of hand-eye coordination, were you even able to do it? And then of course, for you, what is the hardest part? So again, these are all personal kind of questions, guys. So it's all on you. There's no like looking up stuff or anything like that. You do it and then you answer the questions. All right. I love this one. <laughs> You're going to take out a piece of scrap paper. Like don't, don't use good paper for this um, unless you have no other choice. Take out a piece of scrap paper, close your eyes and draw a smiley face. I will promise you most of your guys, like, especially depending on the hand you are, like the eyes will be outside of the circle or the smile, the, it'll be, it'll be great. Um, so again, how important is your sense of sight in order for your hand eye coordination to work? And does it mess with your perception? <coughs> because for some of you guys, like, again, you're rock stars, whatever, you're able to do it. Most people, you cannot do it. Like your poor little eyes are going to be over this way and your smile is going to be that way. And even if you think like you kept your stuff right in there, um, some of you guys, this will be a challenge. Like you will be determined to get this correct. And it's, again, I love this in class. Uh, I know it's not going to be the same. Uh, with that. So what you have to do is just answer the questions, guys. So you do it and answer the questions. I do promise you that it is easier to answer the questions if you actually do it. Um, because if you don't, they're going to be kind of bland. So just kind of like on the free write, it was very easy to kind of tell which ones of you guys did not necessarily write. But since I have no proof that you didn't, I can't do anything about that. So my bad on that one. Um, I am not to the point that I want you to provide me videos of you doing this yet. So again, it should not take you more than 15 minutes to do this. It should be a pretty easy assignment for the day. Knock it out and move on with some of your other harder classes. Uh, but I hope you enjoy it and maybe it's a little bit funny, kind of lighten the mood. All right. So you guys have a great day. I will see you all um, tomorrow, I guess doing these screencasts. And hey, I do plan on doing a Google Meet on Friday. So if you have a time that no, you know will absolutely not work for you, let me know. And uh, I'll put out something with the attendance on Wednesday to see what will work out best for everyone. And I know not everyone's going to be able to make it. 
Um, so we'll record it. It's just to help one. I kind of miss y'all and it's fun doing these screencasts and everything. And I know some of you all really appreciate that, but it is hard when we don't actually interact uh, through anything more than email or Google Classroom. So it'll be good to kind of see everyone's face, but also to go over any questions you have in general. And then also, especially about the final project, because that will be given to you on Friday. All right. So anyhow, guys, have a great day.